So, you want to make a taco. Well, the first thing you're going to need is a taco shell, a little bit of lettuce, tomato, and my secret ingredient, some Elmer's glue. Really helps it stick together. Hey guys, I'm back to my Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at how to make an anime bush or a tree or whatnot, whatever have you. So, we're going to go ahead and get started today. I want to go ahead and really quickly uh, take a look at the scene we have here. So, it's basically just a plain, plain brown floor essentially, uh, and we're going to go ahead and hit shift A, and we're going to search for a uh, icosphere, and we're going to put that right there, and um, then hit G, Z, to move this bad boy up, now you can see, uh, there's a couple of things that we need to fix, obviously, the, um, the whole thing is like really, you know, low poly and whatnot, so, really quickly, we'll go ahead, and before we do anything else, I'm going to uh, make sure this is selected, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my do 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 outline selected all right cool right click i'm gonna go hit tab to go into edit mode and then right click this subdivide right click subdivide and maybe one more time right click subdivide we get a little a bunch of these vertices in here um and you'll see why in a moment so hit tab let's go back out of edit mode and we'll go ahead and go to the modifiers tab here and we will go ahead and hit add modifier and we'll select uh displace now, we're going to go ahead and go to this little tab right here and hit new and then go to the textures tab right here. Changes from images or movies, image or movie to clouds. Um, and then we can go ahead and go back. Actually, we'll change this to noise. Sorry. To noise. There we go. Uh, and then we can go back to the uh, modifier tab. And of course, this is way too strong. So it changes down um, to something about right there. Now, it looks really, really good the way that it is. Uh, like, I really enjoy that. So we'll go ahead and hit object, shade smooth. So now it's a little smoother. Um, we can even change the strength down to 0 0.05. Um, you don't have to, but I'm going to put it on. I'm going to leave it on 0.1 uh, for now. You can even uh, tab, right click, subdivide again if you want to. That actually looks even better, so I recommend doing that one more time. Um, I'm actually going to change the strength down. I changed my mind, so point, 0 0.05. There we go. Yeah, I enjoy that. I enjoy that quite a bit. All right, cool. So now, obviously, this has shading. I don't want it to have shading on it, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the material tab. Hit this little drop down, sorry, hit new, sorry, and then we're going to go ahead and change the surface from principal BSDF to emission, and then we're going to change the color to like a greenish bush-like color, right? So something like that, kind of nice. I like it. I enjoy very much. So that looks really cool. I enjoy that. I'm actually going to go ahead and change this to emission, um, and then change it to a brown color. So it's just solid brown. Or maybe not brown. We'll just do like a gray, I suppose. All right, cool, 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 cool. So this is our bush. I'm gonna go ahead and um, grab the uh, grab the bush and S to scale it up. Now, of course, uh, this looks amazing. It looks perfect. We're done. Congratulations. No, I'm joking. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hit Shift D to duplicate this uh, once, and just move it over just a little tiny bit, not fully out of the bush, so it's kind of like halfway in the bush like that. Um, and we're gonna change the uh, the color of, of this this the first one that we have. So hit this little two button, and then the change the color, maybe darken it a little bit, and then add a little bit of blue to it, darken it a little bit more. There we go. All right, cool. So look, that, that color looks good. Now you can see what I'm trying to go for. So since we have that kind of like displacement on there, it kind of makes it look like there's like leaves, right? Because uh, of the the edges of the the bush, which looks really really cool. So I'm gonna start pulling some of these up. I'm gonna hit Shift D duplicate this a couple of times and maybe just like once or twice maybe three times so i have three of these pieces kind of like that uh, i really enjoy the way that looks now i want to pull these up a little bit because there's not enough of the darker color in there so we'll go ahead and do like that we can hit s to scale some of them up s to scale some of them down just move your mouse a little bit like that that looks pretty good to me i enjoy it all right so now um i don't like the way this color is too bright so we're gonna go ahead and actually darken this color a little bit like uh, like that, maybe add a little bit more blue, a little bit more saturation as well. All right, cool. So I hit Shift D, duplicate it again, and then move this up. Hit this little four button right here, and then change this to the brighter color once again. Add a little bit of yellow to that, like that. There we go. You love to see it. All right, cool. So what I'll do with this one is I hit S to scale this one up a little bit more, um, and then we will go ahead and kind of move these. Hit Shift D and move these around to the area that I want them to be in. So I just kind of want to make sure that we have these in every area, um, kind of just poking through. And then we'll do one final one, I suppose, on the top that is even brighter. So hit that, and then we'll just something crazy brighter, like like that, I guess, maybe. Maybe something like that. I don't know. 
There we go. All right, cool. I'm actually going to go to the main tab and change the color management from filmic to standard. Um, and then you can see what this really looks like. So there we go. Super bright and really vibrant, which is what I'm going for right now, actually. So I really like the way this looks. Now it looks kind of like spotty. So I'm going to hit Shift D, duplicate a couple of these out, and then fill in some of these gaps that I'm seeing, like over here and then down here as well. There we go. You'll love to see it like that and then this area right here also has a big gap right there all right cool 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 uh you love you love to see it there you go i like the way this looks quite a bit cool cool now um for these uh for this brighter area i do want to kind of have a better transition between some of these shades of color so i'm gonna do I'm gonna hit shift d duplicate this hit s to scale it down and then we'll go ahead and kind of just poke this through very slightly uh, let me rotate it a little bit, and we'll get that nice little edge on there where it's like barely showing through, but there's like those pieces, you know what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Like those little tiny, tiny little pieces coming through to kind of soften the edge. Um, I'm hitting uh, G, Y to move this on the Y axis, by the way. There we go. And then we can do this, just duplicate these as many times as you really need to, to get it the way that you want it to be. Um just ever so slightly poking through there you go and we those for all of these edges and all of these sides and whatnot um, GX to also move it on the X axis by the way there you go GY to move it over all right cool so that looks good I enjoy that and then move it over yeah it's a little bit of a process trying to get this exactly where I want it to go um, but you can see you can do that for uh, all of these different areas There's one over here as well this little piece Kind of has a dead spot in it right there. There we go. But yeah, like I said, so you can just keep doing this until you're comfortable with the amount of bush transition you have, I suppose. Um, there you go. Like that. Alright, cool. And then do the same thing with this one up here really quickly. Um, hit S to scale it down. Move it over. You can tell that we have a little bit of that stuff shining through. And you can just kind of bring it along. And, uh, and have those edges a little bit feathered like that. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that. So the last thing I want to do is I want to convert this into a bush, uh, into sorry, into a tree. And the way we do that is just by adding a little bit of a branch, uh, a little bit of a, a big a big piece underneath it. Of course, I'll just move this down a little bit. Shift A, um, and then we're going to search for a, we can do either a cylinder or a cube. I think I'm going to go for a cylinder this time just because, um, and then we can just hit S to scale this down a little bit, hit S Z to scale on the Z axis like that. And then just hit S, uh, sorry, G Z on your keyboard to move it down like that. Uh, and just until the tip is the only part that's inside of the bush and then hit tab, go into edit mode, hit this little loop cut button, loop cut there, loop cut there. Loop cut there, maybe. Um, just, a, just a couple times. That'd be cra super crazy. Um, and then we can go ahead and hit this little button up here at the top, which is toggle x-ray. Right? And then with uh, drag a box over top of one of these rows of, like, edges and just hit S to scale it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of feather this out a little bit so it doesn't look like it's, like, super weird. Make this one a little bit skinnier. This one a little bit skinnier as well, I suppose. There we go. Maybe too skinny. Alright, maybe make it a little bit thicker up at the top again. So that's our little tree base trunk thing. And then we can go ahead and hit shade smooth, of course. Um, and then we can actually, you can actually bevel all of these. So all the ones in the middle, just try to drag a box over top of those. Hit control B to bevel and then scroll your mouse wheel up a little bit. Create a couple more uh, loop cuts in there. So it's a little smoother, but as you can see, it does make kind of a weird looking texture. So you're going to want to be careful you don't go too far with it because they do overlap. So... We're going to go ahead and just do, like, maybe scroll our mouse wheel three times. Maybe just, maybe once. Yeah, we might just do once like this. Mm. It's going to kind of make a weird, let's just do one by one. Let's, we'll do this this one like this, and then we'll grab this one. Hit Control B, and then do that one separately. Yeah, so doing them together kind of mess it up. Control B, there you go. All right, cool, cool, cool. We'll move this up a little bit. Scale it in. Move it up. All right, cool, cool. There you go. Sweet. Now we have that trunk nice and smooth going all the way down. I'm going to hit new, and we're just going to make a new, nice little brown color, something like that, right? And then we're going to change, oh, I forgot to change this to emission, so I changed it to emission first, sorry, and then change and make that brown color so you don't lose the color. There we go. 
nice color like that. And then, of course, you can, of course, add some branches, some whatever else, whatever you want to add. I'm going to make this a little brighter this time so you can see it. Uh, add some branches, which would just be like maybe a cube or another cylinder. I'm going to go for a cube this time, actually. So we'll just do something like this. Just a real quick branch. Hit new. Um, emission, of course. And this is just real quick, just simple branches, of course. Nothing too crazy. Just an idea to work off of, of course. Tab. Uh, face select mode. Uncheck x-ray. Grab one of the faces. Hit E to extrude it. G to move it around. Maybe rotate it a little bit. Kind of crazy. Scale it by hitting S. E once again. Just move it out like that. Double tap R to rotate and whatnot. There we go. And then just kind of have it go up into the tree. Um, like like this, right? And it eat until it goes in there. That's like, like that. So kind of just a crazy looking branch, I suppose. You can just uh, hit Shift D to duplicate that and just hit uh, R, Z to rotate it. You know what I mean? And then S to scale it down, move it up a little bit, hit 2, change the color, make it a little bit brighter. You know, and just keep uh, making some branches like that. Just super, super simple branches. I like keeping it nice and straightforward. Of course, you can make different ones of these so they're not all the same bran looking branch. You can scale them up, do some different things with them. But yes, I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. Super easy, like tree tutorial or bush tutorial. Super, super easy. I love the way it looks. Very cartoon-like, very nice, very cool. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. You can do some cool stuff with this with this trunk as well, really quickly, before we end here. Um, you can go ahead and hit Shift-D to duplicate. Shift-D to duplicate the, uh, the trunk. Right-click to cancel the movement. And then we can go ahead and just uh, go to Modifier tab, Modifier, Displace, and then go and select that cloud texture, that noise texture we had before, sorry. Uh, and then, actually, no, we'll make a new one. Make a new one. So get rid of that. Uh, put the displace back on. And then we'll hit new, go to the texture tab, and then change it from image or movie to clouds. So it's a little smoother. There you go. Um, and then we can change the strength down. I'll go to the uh, material tab, hit two, and then change this branch, see this color to a, a, a lighter color like that. And then we have something that looks like that, which is a nice... Uh, a nice variation for the tree trunk for the branch for the uh, for the base of the tree there and it also creates a nice little like abstract looking like you know not abstract but like a, a more jagged edge rather than this like that smooth edge like that so it looks much much better you can do the same thing with the branches of course as well so I'll just do this big one right here shift D duplicate right click to cancel the movement go to the material the modifier tab sorry add modifier displace uh, and we can use the same texture the same cloud texture um, and hit go to the uh, material tab three grab this color brighten it a little bit and there you go so just a nice little variation of the colors um, that you can do on all of these different pieces here and then of course you would just go ahead and uh, do the same thing with this one did I duplicate I didn't duplicate it there you go uh, new there you go and grab that this one's gonna be all inside of it so we kind of have to do something weird with this one because it didn't have enough vertices so if it doesn't have enough vertices just go into tab hit tab go into edit mode double tap everything hit a double tap a sorry select everything right click subdivide and then you'll be on your way um there we go um and then change material to make it a little bit brighter and then hit S to scale it down a little bit. And there you got that nice uh, piece as well. So that is that. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then. Bye bye.